add new user it is straightforward process for you to grant access to different users to your WordPress site by using add new user option username is required so is the email address let's say sample user as the user name email let's provide the email address for that user now you have an option here it's a send user notification so that means this particular email address will receive a notification saying they have been granted access to your WordPress site. First name, if you know, because you may have members who perhaps want to keep their details private and you may not know that. As long as you know their email address and you want to grant access, you can simply place a username and email address because these two are required. And let's show password. You can always make adjustments to the password according to your wants. Let's imagine if this is the password. It is perhaps smart for you to keep these details for your own records because at the end of the day it is your WordPress site. So let's just give the website address as well. As an example, you can hide the password now because we've made changes and it gives us a notice saying, you know what, this password is strong. And ideally, you should always consider using strong passwords for your WordPress site. Here we have roles. As we can see, we have many different ones here and depending on your installation, you may see different things here. But at its core, WordPress roles and capabilities are very important because as soon as you assign a particular role for a user to access your site, basically it changes everything in terms of what they can do on your website. You can definitely visit the Codex section of WordPress to learn more about roles. It is rather um, um, complex to understand at the beginning but WordPress help section really makes everything easy because super admins has access to basically everything but let's imagine that you'd like to provide access to a subscriber so therefore you can set the role as subscriber and they will only have read only permission if for example you'd like to have a contributor as an example what contributor can do is they can edit posts and delete posts as well so therefore if i was to say you know what i'm working with someone else and i want them to contribute for my blog i simply select contributor and give role access accordingly let's add that user now what will happen is their email client will have a email notice saying you know what here's the login details here's the password you have been granted contributor access to your wordpress site and anytime if you want to delete or edit details of a user that you've granted access to you can do so under all users menu option let's delete this particular user because it was created for sample purposes let's confirm deletion now all the previous details that particular user had to access in this example my wordpress site will no longer work at the end of the day if you were to collaborate with other people you can grant many different access levels which are called roles in wordpress and once again WordPress makes everything very easy for you.